Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 207. What is chronic granulomatous disease? Chronic granulomatous disease is an inherited disease in which there is a lack of NADPH oxidase. And this is an enzyme that is needed to produce reactive oxygen species such as superoxide, which is used to kill ingested pathogens. In this condition, there is also the absence of the respiratory burst and neutrophils. Describe respiratory burst. Respiratory burst is the rapid release of reactive oxygen species to kill off pathogens. What kind of infections are commonly seen in chronic granulomatous disease? With chronic granulomatous disease, there is increased susceptibility to catalase positive organisms such as Staph aureus, E. coli, and Aspergillus. What are the two diagnostic tests for chronic granulomatous disease? The two tests used to diagnose chronic granulomatous disease includes dehydrorhodamine flow cytometry test or DHR flow cytometry along with nitro blue tetrazoleum test. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.